I won my state title at the end of October, so I've been preparing for Miss USA since then, just knowing you're going to get to go, kind of preparation starts that very next day. I've been a pure bar teacher for the past almost five years, so I haven't really altered my fitness routine that much. For me, I wanted obviously my body to look amazing for the competition, but I never wanted to show up here and have my body be something that it could never be during my year of reign as Miss USA. Lobster mac and cheese is my first meal um, after the competition, but ice cream is my weakness. I probably, probably have it once a week. It's, it's my favorite thing. It, it's the key to my heart. <laughs> so I'm a college student, so my diet is extremely hard to stay on, but I definitely just try to eat as healthy as possible, stay in the gym maybe every day, if not four to five times a week. Um, but I definitely, you know, try to start as soon as possible just so that you're not always pushing yourself too hard at the last minute. You just want to live a healthy lifestyle and I think that's what's most important. And then of course when you do get a cheat day, do you yeah. take cheat days and then what would be your go-to? Yes, of course I take cheat days. <laughs> Probably more than I should, but um, I'm a pizza girl. Like I love pizza all the time. So when I take my cheat day, I'm always at a pizza place or getting something sweet because I have a sweet tooth. So yeah, those are my things. What are you going to splurge on after the show? I'm probably going to get a burger, a, a, just a really big burger, maybe a milkshake, maybe some fries too. <laughs> I'm just gonna go all out, you know, so. But I did struggle with my weight before, so I definitely had to cut out some sweets and just, my thing is indulge, but don't overindulge. So I just really kind of made that transition and I just work out, exercise every couple of days, three times, four times a week, just consistency. And then as far as your cheat days, are you allowing yourself to cheat in this process? And what's oh, the yeah. things you're gonna wanna get into when you get those cheat days? Well, I actually turned 21 tomorrow, so I had my birthday dinner last night and I had a nice juicy steak and some potatoes, so I allow myself cheat days because I think that it's more important to be happy and if food makes you happy, eat your heart out. What's up guys, I'm Juliana Rancic and you're watching the Live from the Red Carpet YouTube channel. Subscribe today, then be sure to check out our other Live from the Red Carpet videos right here.